Hi, this is going to be a step-by-step -step process on how to apply for a new job as a network engineer just by using LinkedIn. See, I've been using LinkedIn for some time now, and I can guarantee you that most of the job offers that I received, they came directly from LinkedIn. And how did I do that? Well, it was actually very simple. I had to create a profile that was attractive for recruiters. And how can you do the same? Now, there are a couple of things that you must have in place before applying for new job. First of them is to have an organized and an attractive resume. Now, I'm not going to cover how to create and how to organize your resume, but aligned with second point, I'm going to show you how to organize your LinkedIn profile and show you a hidden feature on LinkedIn that you can use to build your resume. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to apply for a new job as a network engineer by using a strategy that I call do more with less, meaning do more applications, submit more application, but in less time. Let's check it out. Okay, the first thing that stands the most on your LinkedIn profile is your profile picture. Recall that LinkedIn is a social network for professionals. So you won't make sure to use a picture of you that makes you look professional. Kind of makes sense, right? So in my case, I'm using a picture where I'm wearing a suit, but you don't have to use a picture wearing a suit, but you can use it as a reference. Instead of not using a picture at all, uh, these are some of the hints that might help you or not to get the interview. You also want to use a background that is aligned with your profile. In my case, I'm using a logo of my company, Celeste Carvalho, and below my name, I have one liner description of what I'm offering or the mission of my company. You can see, I say that it, I solve companies, IT infrastructure problems and coach IT professionals on building their career. And also the current role I'm working on as a network architect and because I'm CCIE, so it might as well just highlight that I'm CCIE 65745. Okay. Now, if you go to the about section, now my LinkedIn profile might look a bit different than yours. I'm a content creator. So there are some options that you might not have available on your LinkedIn profile. And then we have the about section about section. Well, it's about you. Also, you want to make sure that you're highlighting uh, your skills, your qualities uh, as a network engineer. OK, now below that, we have the experience section. Uh, I believe that LinkedIn actually will organize these automatically, but want to make sure that you have uh, the most recent uh, experience, the projects you were involved, the companies where you used to work to be at the top and the ones that, for instance, you used to work two or three years ago to be at the bottom. OK, as you can see, um, in my case, this is not up to date and there is a secret reason for that. But you can see the latest companies I was working on, the date, and also something very, very important is highlighting the skills that you use the most on these specific projects. Now, for me, working at a company means uh, being part of a specific project. Although inside the company, I might be involved also in different projects, but being part of that company for me is a big project as well. So for instance, in the last one, as a senior network engineer, a couple of the skills that I'm highlighting are load balancing, network switches, and there are other skills as well. So let's see, uh, IT infrastructure management, troubleshooting network design. Now, it is important that you highlight these so that recruiters, when they will be searching or looking at your profile, they'll be looking for these keywords. Okay. And this is a very important tip. Uh, recruiters, they don't read your profile. They will, uh, scheme or scan your LinkedIn profile. See if they can find keywords that match what they're looking for in your LinkedIn profile. Okay. So you want to spend some time highlighting these skills on your LinkedIn profile. And also we have the education. Now I focus more on professional uh, education rather on academic education. 
So for instance, if you're a uh, high school license or these kind of things, for some companies that might be important for other companies that might not be as important as professional education. In my case, I am the, um, using the Cisco networking Academy training that I took. And also as I'm a graduated, uh, so it is important for some companies, depending on which countries you'll be submitting your resume. Okay. So also the license and certification. So for certain certifications that I hold, I'll be describing them on LinkedIn. These I want to keep as up to date as possible. Okay. So nothing like, uh, one year, uh, sometimes I might only update the certifications, uh, probably one month or so, but this is a strategy I use because I don't want recruiters to be on me all the time. Okay. Uh, unless you want them to be on top of you all the time, well, you might as well just keep updating all the time and this information will be updated to your network. Okay. And also we have the skills here and courses. Now in the language section, you want to enable all the languages that you uh, speak or you're comfortable speaking or reading. Uh, so English, uh, I speak fluently. Uh, my native language is Portuguese but I can also understand a little bit of French, Spanish and German. Okay. So probably I have three languages. So I have English, Portuguese and Spanish. Yes. So it's kind of elementary, my Spanish, pero muy bien. Okay. Continuing. So then I have my interests and companies and groups that I am involved on. Okay. So this is my LinkedIn profile. Now, one thing that you might notice on my LinkedIn profile is that you won't see the description of what I used to do in these companies. And this is actually one of the strategies that I use on LinkedIn. So I save that information or I keep it away only to be on my LinkedIn resume. So where is it hidden? So if we go to jobs and on resume builder, as you can see, I have multiple resumes according to the profiles or according to the position that I want to submit my application. I'm just going to show you one of them. Okay. This is my resume and you can see that it goes in great detail on what I used to do on those specific companies. So for instance, uh, on this company, uh, NOS, I was a senior network security engineer. So I was responsible for these, 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 and that. So you want to highlight, okay, what were the main problems or the tags you were responsible for? And depending on the project or depending on the company, I'm submitting this application. I might highlight, uh, the P A R or the problem, the achievement and the results for that specific company. If I don't have that in the resume, I might have this written somewhere as I have, uh, it depends a lot on the company requirements for submitting the application. Now let's see how to submit more applications in less time. So if we go to jobs and here we want to search for jobs. So let's say we want to search for network engineer in Portugal. Okay. So let's search and there are 75 results. Uh, recall, we don't have much time for that and we want to submit as many applications as possible. So I'm going to select here this option, easy applying. So it means that I can submit the application directly from LinkedIn instead of being redirected to the company uh, website where I will have to fill a form and share my information, all that, blah, blah, blah. So instead I can just use the easy apply functionality on LinkedIn and submit the application directly. Now let's see, we have 18 results. So over 75, now we have only 18 results. Now let's filter this a little bit. I just want remote positions. So I'm going here on remote and apply this filter and I can select either hybrid. It can either be a couple of days at office, couple of days at home, or can be on site or full remote. So full remote, it means just work from home. So let's select remote first. And you can see that we only have 
three results and we have these three companies so let's take a look at one of them so this network engineer and how would i uh, scheme or scan this position okay this is a very very important strategy first don't read the blah 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 you don't care about the company first first you want to see if you're fit for the job position so we'll take a look at the requirements now let's see so experience in building maintaining network automation proficiency ability and blah 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 for my experience this is what i use if i match on three requirements i'm going to submit the application and you might ask well so lazy but there are more than three requirements all right does it mean that you're going to be accepted now i'm going to share a secret with you when I was working as a hiring, uh, not hiring manager, but I used to be responsible for hiring people for my team. Uh, it was like this. So first I would describe the requirements, uh, the technical requirements that I expected the candidate to have. Now, based on that information, the HR department, it would add uh, some additional information just to make a little bit harder for the candidates so it's not like i didn't want all the candidates the thing is that uh sometimes you only have a certain time to read the profiles from the candidates and imagine having to go through 100 uh, resumes it just takes forever so in order to reduce the number of candidates for a specific position well, companies use this strategy. So they will have the key requirements and they will have like, I would say the blocking requirements. So instead of just saying we have, we need these three requirements and that would probably get a lot of uh, applications. So you have these seven more just to block or to deny a lot of candidates. So this is my secret for you so the next time you apply for a position just see if you meet a couple of requirements submit the application at least you have the opportunity for them to look at your resume and probably go to your linkedin profile okay in my case according to linkedin profile i also match three of five skills uh, for this position based on my profile so still i would be a fit for this position now in case you're wondering whether you should meet all the requirements to submit an application trust me you will never meet all the requirements and if you meet all of them it just means that you are overqualified for that specific role okay so in this case i would just click on ease apply and submit my resume directly as you can see, by using this strategy, I can submit more applications in less time. Now, in case I don't have enough results, because recall that in order to have more interviews or more job opportunities, your number of applications have to be a certain number. And it is expected that, for instance, if you submit 10 applications, you want to have a conversion rate or a reply at least 80% or 90% of your applications if you get 100 of them meaning you submitted 10 applications and you got interview for those 10 applications that's awesome it means that you are a great fit for that specific position but don't expect that at least you want to aim for 80 percent or something okay so in case i only have three results which means that it's not a great number to to have so i want to increase the number of chances of getting an interview so in this case instead of just filtering by using the remote option probably i would select hybrid and you can see the number just increased to 11 so this means that i might be flexible um, to go to the office and certain projects or not and the truth is that for some companies they don't announce they have this remote uh, option available but uh, i've been in interviews with some companies that actually don't care if you go to office or work from home okay so it depends a lot on the project it depends a lot on the company so don't think that just because you don't see as remote 
the company doesn't support remote at all okay so now you can see that i have 11 results which means that i have more options to choose from so again we want to increase the number of applications so to have more opportunities to land on the job that we want now in case you want a job opportunity outside of your geographical location all you have to do is to change the country and then just search for another country and also the keyword so instead of searching for network engineer you can use a keyword such as uh, ccna ccnp ccie uh, it is all just a matter of using the right keyword to find the right job okay and that's my take on how you can use linkedin to find a job as a network engineer actually it doesn't matter if it's network engineer cybersecurity engineer or any tech role at all just use those tips that i share with you and hopefully you will find your dream job so until the next time, take care.